So the way we actually write numbers is by using two significant concepts. Correct. The first concept is called period. Okay. And the next one is what each one of these are. This is basically units, tens and hundreds. Right. So this period representation actually this particular period is called the ones period. The reason why I want to bring about the periods representation is because as the size of the number, as the numbers become bigger and bigger and bigger, I want you to start recognizing the pattern that these numbers and the way you call them out happens in cycles of periods. And that's why I'm introducing this concept. So you have this, right? So if you had the next period next to it, you will have units, tens and hundreds as before, but this is the thousands period. The period to the left, unit, tens and hundreds is called the millions period and so on. In each period, you have three digits. What are digits? The number of numbers that make up the number. Okay. So 99 has two digits. One, two. 112 has three digits. One, two, three. So if you take a large number, one, two, three, four, five, six, I want you to group them in sets of three digits. And that's what I mean by a period. So let's consider an example of a number that's made out of three digits. Why is it three digits? The number has one, two, and three digits. Is that clear? What we want to do is position this number right beneath this template. This number and read the number from the hundreds position towards the units. Correct? I would call this from left to right. Right? Go to the leftmost number. 1 and read it out. Therefore, this is 1. Where is 1 at? It's in the hundreds place. It is 1, 100 and right? 8 is in tens place. When 8 is in tens place, the number is 80. Correct? And 80 the unit place is 3, therefore it is 3. Therefore, this number is 183. Okay. Let's consider another example here. Let us say we had 1, 2, 6, 5. How would we read it? Now we realize that one is in the other, in the next period to the left of the ones period, right? At this point, it is one thousands, right? One thousand, comma, two is in hundreds, two. 100 and 6 is in the tens place. When 6 is in the tens place, the number is 60. 60, 5 and 
65. So this number is 1265. Okay. Let's consider one more example where we are going to take a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So every period is separated by a comma, right? A small dot here to say we are grouping it in threes. This number is one tenth and two units. This is 12. Where does this 12 occur? The 12 occurs in the thousands period, right? Therefore, the number is 12. thousand okay with this we have con accounted for the 12 in the thousands period we go to three three hundred three is in the hundreds place correct three hundred and four is in tens place forty five and forty Five. In other words, what are we doing? We are reading off the number in that period. Okay. Let's actually understand this pattern so we can solve problems easily. You read out the number in that period and you call that, you add the period name. Correct. Therefore, I read out this number. What is this number? 12. What is the period name? 1000. Correct? And what is this number in the ones period? 345. Three hundred and forty-five. This is the number in this period. And this is the number in this period, it is 12 thousands. When you are in the ones period, you don't include the ones, the period name after this. You don't say 345 ones, right? You drop the period name when you're dealing with ones. For every other period, you have to include the period name. Using this 